fucking get in there, my son. Manchester United have beaten Spurs three goals to one. Really pleased with that from Manchester United. He has basically cemented Manchester United in second position, in my opinion, of the table, with Leicester City losing in the in the game earlier in the day against West Ham. That has almost sealed second position for me. And really pleased. Got a goal down in the first half. We put a strong lineup out. Manchester United was happy with that lineup pretty Pretty confident with the lineup to going into this game. Uh, Dean Henderson back in goal. Bat four pretty much picks itself. The normal bat four. McTominay and Fred in there, which I'm not the biggest fan of Fred, as people know. I think he is quite basic, but has done himself the world of good today with getting himself a goal. Uh, Pogba on the, out there as well with Rashford. Uh, obviously, Bruno Fernandes and Cavani as the striker. Pogba out in the, in the wide position. And Manchester United have been pretty damn shit in that first half, to be honest. I thought Tottenham were the better team. And look, they didn't really create enough chances, Tottenham, in that first half. Dean Henderson didn't really have enough to do, and neither, neither did Hugo Lloris in Tottenham's net. But the, first, the, the biggest talking point come after, what was it, 30-something minutes in the game where Manchester United did actually put the fucking ball in the net. A really good move from Pogba and, and Cavani. And Cavani finished it well. I thought he was fa fucking fantastic today. But there was the slightest of touches on Song and he's fucking holding his face like a fucking little bitch. He was and VAR have, have told the ref to go and have a look at it. And I blame the ref for that one. I can't really blame it all on the VAR because VAR have told him to go and have a look at it. He's had a look at it to make his own mind up because they wanted the ref to make the final decision. And the ref's had a fucking howler there because how this game's gone mad if that is a fucking foul. Really, I mean, I mean that is... If you can't, I mean, there's nothing in that, to, to be honest. Barely a touch on it, and he's fucking, like, he's been fucking punched in the face, the little bitch song. And it's just fucking shit. And then he's gone up, the, the cunt's gone up the other end and fucking put the ball in the net pretty much soon after. Tap the ball in the fucking net, and we're going 1 0 down. And t to be honest, I thought, well, we played like shit. We deserve to be losing this game. We don't deserve to be winning this game. We just probably deserve to be losing the game on the basis of the play. But obviously, the, 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 the talking point is obviously going to be that disallowed goal, which was, which was annoying. But it seemed to deflect the fact that Manchester United had been so poor, which is what I didn't want. I didn't want it to deflect that. Manchester United didn't deserve to be leading that first half. Yes, we, we got the goal rule, wrongly ruled out. But we didn't deserve to, to, to take the lead in this game, in my opinion. But second half, we've come out on the front foot and looked a lot better. There was no changes from Manchester United at half time. I thought I, I wasn't sure if he was going to make any changes. Scott McTominay obviously running on a tight rope, but you can't always take a player off when they're on running on a yellow card. You, you just can't do, always do that. I mean, in hindsight, you'd like to every time someone's on a yellow card take the player off, but can't always be doing that. And uh, Manchester United have, have finally got the equaliser from unlikely source of Fred. Uh, tap the ball in the net. Could Hugo Lloris have got that shot away, palmed it away more from him? Maybe. I'm not too sure, but he's fin finished the shot off. Fred fucking rarely does he. I'm, I'm not even, has he ever scored a Premier League goal? I fucking can't even remember. To be honest, I know he's got some in the, in the Europa League and uh, some, but I'm not sure he has. He's shooting, he's fucking abysmal, but luckily he put that away. It would probably have been harder to have missed it anyway, but he's put that one away. And Tottenham have had a, couple, a bit of chance to, I mean, Harry Kane's had a chance to score at the near post, try to, try to, def, uh, tried at the near post to outfox the goal, uh, Henderson, but it wasn't to be for Tottenham and Manchester United have, have taken, taken the lead through the, the best player on the pitch today, Edison Cavani, absolutely brilliant, what a cross from Mason Greenwood who come on in that second half for Rashford, Rashford can't last a full game at the moment, but hopefully now we've got this game out of the way, he could have a fucking break against Granada. Please do not play Marcus Rashford against Granada. They've got to win fucking three goals to one to get through that game. And from Manchester United are going to go through that tie. I'm 100% I'm confident. So do not play Marcus Rashford. Don't even put him on the substitutes bench. Put a Langer on the substitutes bench. Put someone else on the... Put Charlie McNeil, someone else on the fucking substitutes bench. Not Marcus Rashford. He doesn't need to play in that game. And Green has come on and... The substitution worked to treat, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer never gets the credit he deserves. When a substitution goes Manchester United's way, he's brought him on the right-hand side. He's put a great ball in, and Edison Cavani has, has finished it like we know Edison Cavani can do. And if he could stay fit, what a poacher, what a goal scorer he's been. And he delivered fantastically well today with that great ball. And obviously Greenwood was fantastic, but obviously Cavani, man of the match for me today. 
and Green has got himself a goal as well. I think Hugo Reese would be disappointed with that. The shot was probably hit well from Mason Greenwood, but keeper got a hand to it. I think he should really be probably saving that, to be honest. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit harsh because the shot was, was hit with, with, with a lot of pace, but it was at the near post. But fair play, Greenwood's got himself a goal. He's been unlucky against West Ham in recent weeks. He's got himself a couple of goals against Leicester and against Brighton in recent weeks. And now he's got himself another one. So it does look a goal and an assist today for Greenwood. Doesn't look like he's fucking back in form, which is good news for Manchester United. But if we do win our game in hand, we would be, I think, eight points behind Man City, which a few weeks ago was looking like it was going to get to about fucking 20 points. So... Overall, delighted with that win from Manchester United. It was a couple of hairy moments. I mean, Cavani almost put the ball in his own own goal at one point from a header before we sealed the victory. But it, it was actually a good a good save from Cavani to head it onto the post because it was going in the net. So they could have drawn 2-2 in that in the end. But overall, delighted with the win. We've got one over on Mourinho this time around. That's two two victories. He's got over. Jose Mourinho to Jose Mourinho's one and there's been a draw in there as well so overall delighted with that Manchester United got the job done we've sealed I think second position in the league now so we can fucking concentrate on trying to win that Europa League and finish closer to Man City if we finish seven, six, seven points behind Man City and win the Europa League I think that that is, is a successful season for Manchester United it's a lot better than most people thought no one thought we were going to get close to winning the title this season some people didn't even think we were going to finish in a Champions League spot and I wasn't sure the way we started the season that we were going to do anything at all but if we can do them two things I'll be fucking delighted this season let me know your thoughts in the comment section below there should be changes for that game against Granada I hope so anyway rest some players have a little bit of rotation and go again for the next Premier League game like the video subscribe to the channel if you know me if you're watching this on Facebook hit the share button for that win it really does help us out and I'll talk to you all again soon see ya